I'm not sure if you've had a chance to hear about the Northbrook United Methodist Church Community Garden, which is going to be right here. We are excited to get started in the next few weeks getting this ground prepared for our community garden so that we can have different people have their own plots of land to plant and so that we as a church can also um, plant new things to share with our community, such as uh, fruits and vegetables and greens. So it's an opportunity to, uh, for community at Northbrook, um, a way as we kind of come out of the COVID experience for an opp another opportunity for four church members to get together and uh, be social and within the church and get reconnected. The, the reason we're doing it is there's really three primary reasons. One is it gives us a new outreach opportunity uh, within our community. Beyond the community garden, there's a lot of other things we can do with that. Um, whether it's, it's, it's provide veg fresh vegetables to North Fulton Charities or provide some teaching opportunities for, for youth and for the preschool. Um, the second reason is really a, how do we set a carbon neutral kind of ecological, ecologically conscious perspective at, at Northbrook. It's something we can, we can build on, we can start. It's a, it's a, it's a very popular movement, the urban, urban garden, garden movement. We can get participate in that and there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of new ideas around how to, you know, think local about, uh, about food, about people, etc. So it's an opportunity to do that. And then the third reason really is uh, Christ GMC had a established community garden for many years and this is an opportunity for us to bring that tradition to Northbrook and uh, you know something to really uh, acknowledge uh, the, the Christ members and um, you know bring that legacy forward. The way to get involved um, is so we have two upcoming build dates. Um, they'll if you go look at the church website or look at the midweek newsletter that information is there um, we need people with screwdrivers and, and saws and to build the beds build the fence around the garden and 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 fill the, the garden boxes with with potting soil essentially and uh, so those opportunities are are available you can check the website and there's a sign up genius and we're looking for as many volunteers as we can we can get and the hope is we can do it over two weekends um, and then we are ready to start gardening by April 1st and to get involved uh, again we'll, we'll post the, the information will be posted on the church website about how to sign up for a bed uh, if, if, you, if you want to garden um, and that information will be made, made available in the next couple of for the next week or so on how to, how to do that. I'm so grateful to Eric Poole and his leadership, and I'm extremely grateful to the folks of Christ United Methodist Church who've now become Northbrook United Methodist Church and their vision that they set in, set in place years ago at their campus for a community garden. Please be in prayer for this wonderful new ministry that's starting this spring. It's a wonderful sign of new life that's to come.